Good evening, everyone. Jason Carey back for more. He gets three personal boxes of 1819 Panini Donruss basketball. There it is. Thank you very much. Two autographs per box, two, four, six. Let's see what we got in here. Good luck, sir. Uh, he, he better be in this. That's the plan, Jason Carey. Luka Doncic better be in this. We've done a number of these personal boxes. I don't think we've seen a Luka Doncic autograph in this one yet. All right, Jason, once again, good luck and thank you very much. Let's see what we got. All card ship, of course. And we got Andre Karolinko. Significant signatures is your first autograph. There's your first auto of two in this box. There's Luka Doncic. We want to find his autograph. That would be the key. But even, even these cards will carry some value as well. We got out of 99, Josh Jackson, press proof. Another Luka Doncic rated rookie card. And your next autograph is a nice, nice Shea Gilgis Alexander, 19 out of 99. Rookie Dominator Auto. It's a nice one for the Clippers. They like him out here and playing pretty well. Uh, bottom left corner? Jason, I'm not sure what you mean. And there's press proof, 24 out of 99, Chandler Hutchinson. There's a Trey Young rated rookie to 199. 
We'll have all those top loaded before they go out to And Kevin Love is the last card there. All right, let's see what we got in box two of three. Good luck, Jason. Another two autographs, hoping for a Luka Doncic. Luka Doncic has got to be the the presumptive rookie of the year, right? I don't think it's going to be anybody else, unless he gets, well, knock on wood, unless he gets injured. Only three games today, ladies and gentlemen. The Magic destroyed the Charlotte Hornets in Orlando, 127-89. to Knicks in Atlanta taking care of business, 106-91. to and the Pelicans beat the Thunder 131 to 122. Thunder kind of started to get it close at the end of that game, but Pelicans eventually pulled away. Yeah, Rory saying, every, yeah, every other rookie is pretty much underrated or undervalued just because of that Luka Doncic hype. Imagine Luka Doncic. And Kristoff Porzingis together next year. And if they get another, if they add another free agent to that team and another good draft, ooh. and then fill out the roster with some solid vets and whatnot, that could be a really interesting team next year. All right, next box for Jason Carey. Save another one of those Luka Doncic's for you. Hoping for his autograph somewhere in here. That'd be nice. What's up, TJ? Is the Russell triple-double streak over? I don't think so. No, it is not. It's still going strong. He scored 44 points tonight, 14 rebounds, and 11 assists, including a steal and two blocks. So, pretty um, another amazing game from him. And we've got Seth Curry, jersey and autograph, Timeless Treasures, 10 out of 99. Seth Curry was going up against his brother last night. Trailblazers has won that game. Got a little chippy, too. All right, <laughs> wrong Curry. I know. And where's Steph when you need him? 53 out of 99, press proof, Lonnie Walker the fourth. Melvin Frazier, 349, press proof. That's Dirk. Devontae Graham to 199. Gilo saying Donris, a little underrated to him. It is. It's a pretty solid product. Looks like that's the next hit coming up. It's nice. 
Jersey and auto, Jaron Jackson Jr. That's a strong rookie right there. 81 out of 99. Grizzly didn't, didn't end up trading Mike Conley away. They were hoping that he can start mentoring their future right here, Jaron Jackson Jr. Yeah, I think they will be. Jaron Jackson Jr. really started the season strong. Sort of the Grizz, and then they realized they were the Grizzlies. But I like the way he plays. DeAndre Ayton should be great too. This year is a really good rookie class. I know I know Doncic is capturing all the headlines and all of the attention in the hobby, but but I think it's a pretty deep rookie class. And I think a few years down the line. We'll look back on this rookie class being a pretty incredible one. You know, for a lot of these guys, especially a lot of these one-and-done players, it's going to be um, a lot of these one-and-done players, it's going to take a couple of years, two or three years, for them to really start to shine. Last box coming up. You know, like, look at someone like D'Angelo Russell. Maybe his first year, second year with the Lakers, not, not super impressive. But, you know, with the Nets, a little change of scenery certainly helped too. But with the Nets and all that, now we're looking at, we're looking at him being an all-star, which is crazy. And he's, so he's in about season three or four. So it does take about that, that bit of time to really know what you have in a player. That's why in basketball, for the for any one and done player, I can't really assess bust or not until uh, until after like three or four years. Kevin White likes uh, Josh Kogie of the Timberwolves. He said he'll be a first team All Defensive Player in the league. All right, box three. Third personal box of 1819 Donners basketball for Jason Carey. Good luck, Jason. Let's see what this last box has in store for you. This guy, too, Marvin Bagley. Mr. Mike Zaddy, what's going on, Chris? Yeah, we just looked at his stat line just a few moments ago. He 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 went bananas tonight. He went nuts. Balled out. In a losing effort though, unfortunately. Joe Ingles, press proof. Yeah, I like Landry Shamit too. He's here with the Clippers now, but he's a great shooter, great outside shooter. Um, there's Aaron Holiday. He could be someone too. He could be a player. Aaron Holiday doing well for the Pacers. We'll certainly get time to shine without Oladipo in the lineup. There you go. Nice Aaron Holiday. I think that's a draft day autograph, right? Oh, yeah, Rory's saying it is a draft day signature. Nice. Sign on draft day. But um, when uh, when the Landry Shamit trade here in L.A. was was confirmed, apparently someone, I think Doc Rivers, somebody had called up, uh, 
and called up J.J. Redick, former teammate of Landry Shaman, was just like, hey, so what's this guy about? Is he, is he good? What's he like? Blah, blah, blah. And, apparently, and allegedly, J.J. Redick said he's a better me. So, which is which is high praise from a shooter like JJ Redick. So, if that's the if that's the ceiling for for Landry Shaman, I think that's pretty that's pretty good. Now, the rest of it's up to him, obviously. You know, his ability to adjust to defenses, adjust to the league, and his mental toughness, and how he learns the game, and blah 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 blah. But raw skills wise, if JJ Redick's your ceiling, that's pretty awesome. And there's Mark Price, Significant Signatures, your second autograph out of this box. Those are your autos. Jason Carey, thank you very much. And let's see if we can find some low number parallels right here. Well, you didn't do too bad with the Jaron Jackson and the and the draft day uh, Aaron Holiday, Jason Carey. I know Luke is the big name, but those two others were okay. And William will pick up your Mark Prices, too. He's a big Mark Price collector. All right. There you go, folks. Thanks for watching. Jason Carey, thanks for grabbing those few boxes. We'll see you next time for the next one. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.